Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan Canada Value Package. Now the most little features on this Canada Value Package is its steering wheel audio control. You have your AM FM CD player along with your foldable rear seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan Canada Value Package. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Canada Value Package is its daytime running lights and then if we take a closer look just over on the side you have your 17 inch wheels. Now you also have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors and I'm just going to quickly show you just what your second row is going to look like. So as you can see, you have your two additional seats to make things a little bit easier for you to access the third row. You have some space just located on the side there to actually walk to the back. And then if you want, you can actually fold these seats down to the floor just in case you are hauling a whole bunch of cargo. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is gray. Now. Taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, as you can see, you have your black cloth into your seat surfaces. And if we take a look on the left hand side, you're going to see your light controls. And on the inside of the driver's side door, you have your mirror controls, window controls for both your front windows and your power locks. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel you have your uh, volume control setting as well as your tune function located on the back of the steering wheel here. And then you also have your cruise control setting just located on the right here. Now, if we take a look, I'm just going to show you the exact kilometers that are on here currently. And if you take a closer look just at the center dash as well as the display, you have a couple of different features on here which include your AM, FM, CD player. You'll find your auxiliary input just located on the side there. Temperature control settings located down below with your eco on and your hazard lights with your track control on and off. And then you'll find some power outlets just located at the very bottom there. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you'll find your rear hatch release located in the center. And if we close in on the rear cargo area as well as your third row, as you can see, it's a 60-40 split. So depending on what your needs are for, you can have one of them up or both of them up. Or if you need them actually stowed away. Headrests are just located on the back of the seat here. So as you can see, it's actually numbered on the back there to make things a little bit easier for you. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you fold down the headrest first. And then when you pull on this piece right here, it'll fold the seat down and unlock it. Once you pull the third. And then pulling the strap on the back of the seat here will allow you to fold the seat down into the floor, making things a little bit easier for you so it remains nice and flat for all that additional cargo that you might need. As you can see, you'll find your jack just located on your left-hand side, and as you can see, even with one of the seats down and the other seat up, you still have plenty of cargo space located down below here as well. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.